working on Sunday afternoon. All right, so uh, that is the party queue. Again, you're looking at 129 for uh, you know traditional medium to, to small cookers, 139 for those ceramic styles. Uh, Bob, what else uh, product-wise uh, would you like to mention? Anything new that you're working on that you can let us in? Uh, or, uh, you know, how's the, how's the Onyx oven? What do you got? Well, we got, you know, our Onyx oven is selling very well. Uh, the Onyx oven is, is a great smoker. It's lightweight. Um, it, it does a lot of what the ceramic cookers do. It, it, um, you can do any style of cooking on it. You can grill, you can smoke, you can bake, you can roast. And we're getting over 25 hours of cooking time on uh, seven pounds of charcoal. So, oh, wow. you know, it, it's a metal cabinet style smoker, but it's it's really competing with the ceramics as far as, um, you know, capability. Um, and, you know, we may have some other things up our sleeve uh, that will come out in the first of the year, but I can't really discuss it right now. Under uh, lock and key right now, right? Under lock and key, Greg. Did, uh, you know, I remember talking with Shotgun Fred uh, probably, it has to be years ago now, and I thought he yeah. mentioned uh, offhanded that they, you guys were working on your own hardwood lump charcoal maker. Did that, like, make it out onto the market? Well, um, Fred has, you know, he's he's constantly uh, <laughs> working on new products. And God love him, he's, he's not doing that well right now. He's got um, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Right. So he's, he's fighting right now. Um, but, yeah, he's, um, he, there is a charcoal maker that kind of, was kind of uh, three-quarters of the way through the process of development. Um, and we'll continue to work on that for him. Um, but it's it's not something that we have active on the website right now. All right, Bob uh, Trudnack joining us here on the show. Again, uh, you're looking at bbqguru.com as a website, and uh, we spent a lot of time talking about the party queue. Uh, and then, of course, you do have the other pit temperature control devices as well. You know, I wonder, Bob, you have that Procom 4 wireless unit. How big of a seller is that? Um, you'd be surprised. I mean, it, it's not it's not cheap. Uh, because it is radio controlled and it's, you know, licensed by FCC and it's expensive to make, um, but it's radio controlled and there's a certain group of people that love it and want it and they want to set that handheld device by their bedside at night and they want to, you know, wake up and, and hit the button and, and peek at it. Um, so that does sell very well and still our most popular seller is the DigiQ. Yeah. Uh, right now we're at the DigiQ DX2 model, and it's unbelievable how well it sells. It's got the pit probe, the food probe, the bright red LD, LCD display, uh, and people love it. So that continues to be our, our biggest seller because uh, you can you know add multiple fans to it. You can add any size fan to it. Uh, so that that is our number one seller. He is Bob Trudnack from the Barbecue Guru. Uh, gang, check out the Party Q for crying out loud. I mean, it is uh, the priced right, uh, self-contained unit. And if you've always been looking to dabble in a little bit of automatic pit temperature control, this is definitely going to be one you're going to want to check out. Uh, Bob, always appreciate the time tonight. Thanks for coming on. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. I always uh, love talking to you. And, um, hey, let me know when you want to talk again. All right. Thanks so much. There he is, Bob Trudnack. Watch out.